Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into another first impression. This application is called Haptic and I think this is one at least some of the people watching my video will like because it is privacy first, it is open source, you can self-host this. Uh, it is currently available on Mac and web but there is a Windows and mobile applications coming uh, so it says that uh, they have plans to actually make a mobile uh, and a Windows application, but it currently isn't available. And in my case, I'm a big fan of like privacy, open source, but I also need to have a web version since I'm on uh, so many different devices and on some of my devices, we're not allowed to actually download applications. So that's why I need a web version. That's why this application called Haptic uh, feels uh, really interesting or, or looks really interesting. So this is a first impression. I haven't tested out the application beforehand. I've just opened it up uh, and uh, let's actually just jump right into it and see how this works. So uh, I am currently on the web version here uh, and there is a sync button so I can press the sync button uh, which allows me to sync but it isn't out yet so auto syncing isn't out yet. What else can I do? I can auto save it can auto save debounds. I can change the appearance of this, so light, dark, or system theme. Um, I can change the theme, but again, not many things available. And also, I can't change the font here, guessing that this isn't available yet either. Um, a lot of things I can change in the settings. Sync would probably be the most important. Having the ability to sync my notes would be great. Uh, creating scheduled backups would be great um, with a backup interval as well. Uh, so I don't have to do that manually. That's my guess on how this should work. Uh, but again, sync is probably the most important thing. Uh, what else can I do? I can toggle theme. So that was light mode, dark mode. Uh, sorry to everyone watching uh, about that. Uh, settings we checked out uh, and we have a folder structure so I can open the collection. Uh, so it looks like I can like just open a markdown folder in here. Uh, what do we have in the in terms of like note taking? How do I create a new note? So I can do command or control N. Let's just add a new note. Let's call this uh, test one. Uh, is there backslash functionality? There isn't, but it should work with markdown. Markdown. One thing that annoys me a little here is that I, I really want this text to be to the left, like aligned to the left. Uh, does it do that here? No, it doesn't. That annoys me a little. Like I want it to be like this instead of the title being uh, left aligned and like the uh, text in the note being a little more to the right. Um, that annoys me a little. Let's create a bullet list uh, and you can also create tasks like this. So task one, task two. Is there backlinking here? I don't think there is, there isn't. Um, so no backlinking, no like, mm, no like what I like to call like advanced features. Uh, doesn't seem like it has that. Uh, it is just basic markdown. I can go into a view mode. So that just uh, stops me from uh, being able to, uh, it just stops me from being able to write. So if I press the right edit mode again, I can then go back and write. So that's the main difference. Uh, you can search, you can expand. What happens if I expand? So this gives me created, modified file size, characters, words, and read time. Uh, and I also get a table of contents, uh, which I can make. Uh, so great for writing longer formats. Um, you also have uh, this, which is daily page. So uh, this is a, a simple description of what needs to be done today. So I could create myself uh, a daily page and I could add my tasks in here, uh, run, take out trash. So 
uh, I could do things like that and just write down my tasks. Can I jump back and forward here? I can, and I can add new tasks here. So uh, I can also use the daily pages as just a task management or a journaling system. And I have upcoming, I have like yesterday, this week, this month, and older. Uh, that's what I have on the sidebar here. So these upcoming ones, they only appear after I've started writing in them. Um, there is also task management here. Let's see how this works. Uh, so it gives me the test MD one, the daily pages. So all of them appear here. Uh, these notes right here, they actually, uh, they've actually been here. Uh, like they're a part of the onboarding experience on this application. But one thing I dislike is that it looks like it creates like a new instance here or a new uh, a new card we can call it a new card for every task but i would prefer it to have like one for every uh task so i don't know why there is like four different ones that go to exactly the same place um so this has only one uh but these are are different days so there is one for each day um, there is still one for each day. Let's scroll all the way back to, because here, like you can see that it creates one for every, like it creates the title of the note and then the tasks. I actually think I like this, uh, when I start to think about it because it highlights the task. So I think I actually like it, but why doesn't the test one appear? What happens if I check these off? Do they disappear from my tasks? They do. So let's uncheck them so they come back. Uh, so this only shows like active tasks. Uh, now it actually pops up. Uh, so I'm guessing that is a small bug. Um, so now the test one is here as well. Um, and you can click on this and it will highlight the task. So if it highlights the task, I think uh, having multiple makes sense uh, if it did not highlight the task like it does here then I would probably just have the ability to click on this and get all of my tasks so click on the note itself but when it highlights the specific tasks I think that um, this is a great way of doing it um, so I think that is everything I can expand folders I think I can create a new folder uh, can I drag things into the folder I can, so I can just drag my notes into my folder. Can I change the name? I can by right clicking. So let's call this test folder. Um, so um, pretty similar to a uh, like regular markdown editor, uh, quite similar to Obsidian in the left sidebar here at least, uh, but there is no like tags because I can't seem to add tags. Let's try that no tags uh only the folders i know that a lot of people want tags it is currently free as well um and uh there is i think there is only one person developing this application which is why it might be a little slow it lacks in a few things like i said the sync here would be great uh what is this you can share a note uh what happens if i share a note Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm also not sure what this is. I think I can replace text uh, within a document. So if I have written test many times, uh, I can replace test with something else. I think that is what it is. Let's just go ahead and close this. Um, but where did all of my notes go? Because I dragged them into, into here, but it says zero. Let's try dragging them one more time it looks like my notes disappeared when i changed the i changed the name of the folder um that is a little annoying um that is actually very annoying uh so it seems like it just like the notes just disappeared when I changed the name of the folder. That is a bug that needs to be fixed before like I can use an application like this. But apart from that, uh, 
I actually think I really like the application. So it feels like a really simple markdown note-taking app, which is what I'm guessing it is trying to be. Uh, it is open source, so you can self-host it. It gives you full control. Uh, it is simple. Um, much more much simpler than something like obsidian i still think that it needs a little bit more uh, development before it is at a level where you can actually reliably use this as your note-taking app but i definitely think that it is worth checking out if you're looking for something open source uh, and privacy focused so do check it out i will leave a link to it down below uh so you can check it out for yourself i actually really like the fact that they have a web version but i think that covers it for this first impression. I will be back with a more in-depth review on this app later.